Well, we have two games on Monday night in the NFL and a uh, little bit out of tradition and just wondering how you folks feel about that. Uh, I know that I'd rather see two games on a Monday night than one game on a Thursday night, to be quite frank with you, uh, because I, I just cringe, you know, when teams play in on three days rest in the NFL, I just think they'd be better suited. If you're going to go with a double header on Monday nights, a couple times a year, do it all year long. But um, that's my opinion. Just wondering how you feel about that. Anyway, I'm going to be looking at one of those games on Monday night uh, between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills. And uh, right now, as we speak, the Buffalo Bills are a five-point favorite. The total is anywhere from 45 and a half to 46 on this contest. And uh, both teams are started out in opposite directions. Uh, Buffalo... Uh, off to a 2-0 and start, winning their season opener uh, at home against Arizona, 34-28, in a game that they overcame a 17-3 first-half deficit. And then they roared back last week uh, at Miami on a Thursday night. On three days rest, they lambasted the Dolphins 31-10. Jacksonville, on the other hand, disappointing 0-2 start. Uh, they blew a 14-point lead against Miami in their season opener, losing that game 20-17 to on the last play of the game. And then last week in their home opener, as a small favorite, they were defeated 18-13 to by the Cleveland Browns. So not an ideal start for the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they have nobody to blame but themselves, specifically their offense with uh, star quarterback Trevor Lawrence and somebody – uh, very good offensively skilled uh, players uh, with the Jaguars. Uh, they've managed to only score 15 points per game and average 295 yards of total offense through two contests. Um, I had to look this up in my database. How do teams that are 2-0, and home favorites specifically that are 2-0, and do against 0-2 teams in game three of the season in any NFL home favorite that's uh, anywhere from 4 to 11 on the point spread. And uh, they're coming off a division win, like Buffalo is, uh, coming off the win over at Miami. And they're playing a team that's 0-2. Uh, 6-0 straight up in ATS since 1998 for those home favorites of 4 to 11 in that situation. Uh, and a average victory margin of 20.2 points per game. Not a huge sample size, but something that, uh, you know, curiosity piqued my interest and I ran it and that's what we came up with. So it might not be a small sample size, but uh, it's a perfect one and it wins decisively. However, it must be noted that plus 20.2 points per game is a skew a bit because it included last year we had a similar situation in the Miami and Denver game, Miami uh, as a favorite within that point spread parameter as a 2-0 and team against an 0-2 Denver team. And Miami won that game. I know many of you will recall that, 70-20. to So that sort of bumped up uh, that point-per-game difference in those six contests quite a bit. Um, a lot of people wrote Buffalo off before the season started, and, and I can understand why. I mean, look, it, it's a team that lost Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer. They're starting safeties that had been there for the last seven seasons. Uh, they lost Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis. They're starting wide receivers who had been a constant over the last four to five years. They also, before the season even began, they got Matt Milano back from his gruesome injury from a season ago. He was looking great in training camp, and then in a uh, joint practice with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he tears a pectoral muscle out, uh, tears a pectoral mes muscle, not out, and uh, he's out for an indefinite period of time, quite possibly the rest of the season. But they've been resilient um, coming out of the gate 2-0, and and let's not forget that's a Buffalo defense that played without Matt Milano for the better part of last year. As a matter of fact, ironically enough, Matt Milano last year suffered that gruesome injury in a game in Europe against these very same Jacksonville Jaguars in which the Buffalo Bills were upset 25-20 to as a um, 
five point favorite in that game. So a little bit of revenge for Buffalo in the spot against Jacksonville. Uh, and also, folks, um, this is a Jacksonville team uh, that right now is a little bit fragile. You know, I, again, I, I don't know. You look back to how they finished last season, and they're like one and seven straight up in their last eight games they played. They look like an absolute lock uh, at the midway point of last year to not only win the AFC South, but uh, it looked like a sure bet to uh, make no le less than a wild card team. And uh, they fizzled down the stretch, and they ended up losing a division to the Houston Texans, not qualifying for the playoffs. And, uh, you know, they haven't recovered quite well, I mean, by this 0-2 start. So uh, you got to think a team like Jacksonville is lacking in confidence right now and going on the road on a Monday night, not only Buffalo playing with revenge, but remember, Buffalo's got three extra days of rest because – they haven't played since a week ago yesterday. I'm recording on Friday. Uh, so they're going to have 10 days of rest as opposed to the normal six or six or six, excuse me, nine days of rest as opposed to the normal six days uh, NFL teams get. And that's the case with Jacksonville. I'm going with Buffalo here, minus the five over to Jacksonville Jaguars. Folks, don't forget, give me a like. I would certainly appreciate it. Just a small token of your appreciation. Hit that like button below. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, Wager Talk TV, please take a second to do so. Why should you do so? Because you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV. And uh, again, folks, and you can go into your YouTube settings as well. Click on that alert notification bell after you subscribe, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our future uh, content going up on our great channel. Uh, just a friendly reminder, my college football folks, uh, I have one game going tonight. If you see this video in time, I have the um, a winning total uh, tonight in the Nebraska and Illinois game. I'll have five picks on Saturday in college football, including a 5% top play or best bet. And uh, that comes in the Tennessee and Oklahoma game, 7.30 Eastern time on ABC nationally televised. If you were with me last weekend, 6-0 in college football, including a 5% best bet winner on the Baylor Bears minus 16 and a half as they won handily over Air Force 31-3. And I had a perfect 6-0 sweep in college football last weekend. Uh, nothing new because college football right now, uh, not only that 6-0 and last weekend, but on current winning runs of 19-9 and and going back to last season, uh, starting with September the 9th, I've gone 71-48 and uh, in college football, which is good for 60% and it's produced a net profit of over $4,700 in folks. I was number two in money earned. Uh, in college football last year at Wager Talk Media, and I'm on the right path again to not only match that feat, but uh, I would be won't be uh, happy with nothing less than finishing number one this year in college football. So uh, take advantage of those offers, and and also, uh, well, I didn't even mention the offer. How about this? Wager Talk right now is offering my college football season pass for just three ninety nine, and that offer is good just until Sunday. So take advantage of that offer uh, simply by going to my direct link, wt.buzz slash rb. All right, folks, I'm wishing each and every one of you all the very best this weekend. Remember, Buffalo minus five over Jacksonville is a free pick. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and then uh, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. Until the next time, take care and God bless, folks.